Good afternoon, everyone. Record snowfalls across Europe, record cold in the UK, and the 5G signal now going to be able to disrupt satellite instruments that forecast your weather. Still waiting for the official record here, but it looks like it's been broken. So May in the UK will set the coldest temperature since 1841. That is absolutely global warming in my opinion. And it will be verified within the next 12 hours how many areas across the UK have set new records. That will be including Scotland. Who would have ever thought? Into May, UK would be receiving snows. Oh, and everybody will say it's the evaporating oceans in the global warming crowd. And I'll say go back to 1998 with the El Nino and the warm oceans back then. We should have seen record snow and record cold in 98, but we didn't. Snow forecast caught everybody off guard. They were told it was going to be a warm, balmy spring, and then, whoa, minutes before the snowstorm came, the alerts went out. I wonder why they waited until the last second to tell everybody it was going to get cold and snowy. We've seen that routinely again and again when these out-of-season storms come. They wait until the last possible second to warn the citizens. Don't want to give you time to think about why the IPCC forecasts are not coming to fruition. Amazing scenes, Highlands of Scotland. Now jumping over to Electroverse, Chicago snowiest since 82. Lake Superior, incredible water levels, record high for this month. And then Switzerland, record snowfall. And I thought, well, it's snowing in the UK. Let's jump over to see what's happening in Switzerland. New snowfall record of 7.5 inches. Now the old record was 4.7 inches. Again, this is not just slightly over the record, it is smashing through. And we're starting to see this. Every time these records are broken, it's not just a eclipsing by you know a sliver, a tenth of an inch or something. It's nearly into the doubling range. Bring you some more images of snowfall here at 3,000 feet. That is very low for this time of the year to be receiving snowfalls. Now, it's not limited to just Switzerland or just the UK. Here we go. Slovakia. I know it's in the mountains, but you have to realize the snow falls feet deep in May. Also Hungary, look at that, snow on the vegetation. That top right is an orchard. This is where the snow is. Now luckily snow doesn't do too much damage, but the frigid temperatures associated with this front will kill the buds or the flowers that are on those trees already. Snowfall down to 300 meters in Italy. That's less than a thousand feet. That is incredibly rare. The news is raving about how rare it is. 600 meters. Trento. Again, snow records falling. These, all these areas you see are setting new snow records for this day. And take a look at the before and after, how quickly this front rolled in, how much snow it's dumped. This is really a good indication of how our weather systems are shifting in this grand solar minimum slash magnetic pole reversal. A little bit higher in elevation, look how deep that is, multiple feet. They were looking at around three feet for the snowfalls. This would be up in northern Italy in the Alps. And this has got to be the picture of the day here. Stunning. Bolzano in Italy, the morning after the snowstorms. And speaking of emergencies and out-of-season weather that will disrupt supply chains as well as your ability to get to stores, how prepared are you with your emergency food storage in case events like this roll over your area. Today's video is brought to you by My Patriot Supply, long-term food storage. You can visit them at mypatriotsupply.com forward slash prepare with adapt 2030, a full range of long-term food storage as well as items to help you get ready to prepare and pack food to keep it yourself for a longer time. The link to My Patriot Supply is in the description box below. Just click and go. 5G, we know, we've heard so much about this so far, unveiling in cities. But now they say it's going to jam satellites that help weather forecasting. So here we are. They're already telling you that they're not going to be able to forecast correctly. So if any of these out-of-season storms come in, they'll just say, oh, 5G, we didn't know it was coming. When The Guardian, a mainstream publication in the global corporate media, comes out and says, likely to disrupt delicate satellite instruments... Well, you know you have a problem here. Seriously affecting weather forecasters' ability to predict major storms. I mean, I don't know how much more in your face they can get, except they're telling you right now they're not going to be able to predict it anymore because the unseasonality and unpredictability of our weather can be blamed on something else. 5G. 
The article continues here. It's going to compromise our ability to forecast major storms because this 5G may transmit a frequency that's near or similar to water vapor. So what they're saying is the frequency is making it appear that there's water vapor everywhere. So it'll interfere with the ability of them to really see the water vapor coming. And they won't be able to forecast a storm. Convenient. It's not our fault. We didn't warn you. We didn't even know it was coming. It's not our fault. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. If you want more information like this on the Grand Solar Minimum Intensification and what you can expect moving forward, Mini Ice Age Conversations podcast, jump over to Libsyn or iTunes, subscribe to the feed, and you'll get the newest episodes every time I upload.